Hey, what's going on YouTube? Final Boss here, and uh, last night I was just trying to figure out what is going on with this meta, but obviously tonight the Executioner is coming out. I pushed up to 129 earlier today, and um, I my mic messed up or something like that. I'm just going to go ahead and review my logs completely, just to show the transparency of everything that's kind of going on. Now, I did record a bunch of them live. I had some audio issues, so I just cut the audio out. So I'm about to show some of the live replays. I might even uh, show some of these other ones as well. Um, so we have like this most random deck I've ever seen in my entire life. We have this. Um, he started off right here with a Ice Golem Hawk and I didn't have anything to, I had like the world's worst starting hand. My Inferno I think was like one of the last, um, last cards to even counter it, so almost lost a tower right off the bat. Um, we have a minor deck here, a random Hog deck, as you can see there's just no decks that are just kind of remotely the same. I should have won this one, this one only had like 100 HP left, but I really have no direct damage except for Log. Um, this is a very common occurrence deck that we're seeing a lot here recently, but I've been beating it. My hog deck was beating it. I'm not having an issue with it. Um, this deck right here was kind of crazy. I mean, this the people are running Royal Giant, um, but I get why people are running it because they can max out their commons a lot faster, like I've, I've told so many times in here. And then check a look at this. I mean, there's literally like zero consistency in this meta right now, even if you want to call it a meta. Um, mortar, um, and this guy, I gave him his personal best, and he was uh, 5150. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him until he started BMing me, so it kind of like wipes that everything away. I mean, like, good job, dude. You got your personal best, and you're sitting here trash talking someone that's, you know, you're, you're probably would never win again if I had to ever play you again. But regardless, I was, I've been, was trying to play this deck. I know you guys are gonna be like, hey, boss. I know you said you hated bait decks. It's cancerous. I don't know guys, I mean I saw somebody else using it and they were having some success with it so this is obviously something I've ran before, log in here, I don't mind running a princess so yeah it's kind of a, it's a log, more of a log bait deck um, but with these three cards but it's not as bad as the mirror furnace, mirror fireball and that's the deck I really have an issue with is people mirroring fireballs just for a win. I just feel like it's super cheesy or someone that has like three or four spells in their deck. Now I get it on their giant beatdown deck, they're going to need to have it, and I know I, me having an opinion, there's always going to be people that are going to disagree or say that, you know, I'm contradicting myself by playing this deck or whatever, but these cards right here I have used before. Um, Goblin Barrel is just really OP right now uh, until the Executioner comes out later today. So we're going to go on ahead and uh, take a look at some of these live ones, but it's kind of cool that uh, I'm going to be able to break down the live play um, with uh, me speaking over it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. I can't wait to do a video on it. Uh, and as you can see, um, I'm working currently on my second video series and I also have a 12 win um, minor deck and a, an excellent, amazing write up on how to use the minor control. Now hopefully the meta hasn't changed. Um, but this kid's been using this minor deck for two months. It's been in my clan, and uh, I got a 12 win with it. So I, I kind of backlogged right now in videos and uh, a lot of stuff to do. So let's go on ahead and get into it, you guys. All right, guys. So first up here, I am playing against Rebel. Um, sorry to beat Rebel up, but uh, it's uh, it was one of my ones that I'd started doing the live recording on. I know he's been in a few of my videos, so... Um, yeah, he's gonna put down an ice spirit here try to put down my princess here to stop the ice spirit But he still gets uh, hit in so the point of putting the princess down first is trying to bring out the log So he does go on ahead and log here uh, I'm gonna go on ahead and put down my hog and send out the goblin barrel So that's is, that is tip my typical push that I'm trying to use I kind of use the hog as a tank or you know or Obviously, it's a win condition card, uh, but this is uh, I had a lot of fun actually playing with this I know you guys are like oh you hated bait decks um, uh, yeah, I still do. Uh, like I said earlier, I, I just don't, I just not a fan of people mirroring fireball and mirroring furnace. It's, uh, it's just not, it's just not the way that I want to play this game. Um, if that's what you, you want to play this game, then that's fine. Um, this is not something that I, I want to continue playing. I'm kind of hoping that the executioner is going to be kind of like a really cool card. Uh, I know all these cards have always been like that, you know, and a new card. So I'm just not going to get my hopes up. Um, especially right away 
Um, so he's going to go on ahead and he's marching his musketeer down. I waited to drop my ice golem here so I could uh, go on ahead and uh, put that down. So I was playing on PC last night, and um, I, I just I just don't know what it is. Sometimes I'm playing good on it. Uh, it's just it's just not the greatest. I just really didn't want to take any chip damage there. So three for one probably wasn't the smartest idea. Um, but after I'm doing all that damage to the musketeer, I don't regret the decision because now he's just one log away, and that's fine against the musketeer. Some people spend six elixir on a, on a musketeer, and I was able to kill him for five. All right, so I went ahead and got him here. Um, yeah, he had already used his log, uh, and <laughs> and I'm trolling him a little bit. And uh, he was that maybe I caught him broke. I think that that was the deal. So he, he invested seven elixir there, uh, and I knew he'd used his log, so I went ahead and threw the, the goblin barrel out at him. I'm going to counter his uh, minions over here with the princess. That's going to take them down rather easy. Um, by the way, Rebel is is streaming on Twitch. Uh, he's a really good player. Um, we used to always make decks together. Uh, we, we made some really cool ones. He was even in one of my videos uh, a while back ago. Um, really good player. Um, so yeah, so you could go and check him out. I do BM him at the end, by the way, but I was just kind of playing. I did text him after a game. I was like, hey man, I was just playing. Uh, I was like, I'm kind of I'm kind of over this meta right now. Um, but I feel like that's going to change tonight. I, I don't know. I feel like everybody's people, all these people are maxing out their troops so fast. Uh, I mean, they maxed out their dark, dark goblin like immediately and everything else. So I'm just going to drop the princess here, take that down. That was rather easy. I actually thought that he was playing Hog, but I think I, I saw something earlier that he said he was gonna be playing <laughs> on. Uh, he was gonna be playing with the miner. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I was just playing. It wasn't. It wasn't a for real BM, but anyway, I was actually having fun. I, I know he's not having fun in this meta either. So I don't know. But anyway, um, we're playing against a guy from Emirant, so I'm giving out the good luck. I, I guess I started feeling a little bit more chippery after that. I had a nice laugh, and uh, I wasn't laughing before because I was just I, I was playing Hog Lightning before, and um, I, I did pretty decent with it. I was posted that on Twitter, and then that just wasn't working last night. And um, but the thing with this game is, is always going to have a different meta. And we're, this game is always going to be changing, and we're always going to be looking for new decks, especially at the top. So nothing's really going to um, matter there. So I'm going to have to go on ahead and log. It was a bad log, but check that out. I got the princess, so that was pretty cool. And um, I'm still going to take some damage. And then he uh, BMs me. That's like, well played. Um, our princesses are not going to hit, so he's going to go on and hit and um, hit me right there with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the goblin barrel down. So I know that he has some some cheap troops as well. So I'm just going ahead and put the princess down with some minions. I got a stab gob that was still working in the back. Was able to do some substantial damage here. So I'm sitting here chilling and waiting to see how he's going to respond to the princess. Now he's giving me a sincere well played. So I'm going to put the ice golem down here to absorb everything. And I'll check this out, guys. Jordan Jordan was uh, was was texting me, and he, I think he texted I think he texted me a few times. I can't remember in this, um, but I actually ended up clicking over here in a second. I'm like, oh crap. Um, so I was actually talking to him about doing a. Um, I, I've been using like kind of like a little bit of a workout plan. Um, just to kind of help with uh, you know tilt and if you're sitting down on a computer all the time just getting some ex exercise um, Maybe maybe if you guys want to hear what that is it doesn't require any weights doesn't require a gym membership and you'll actually get really strong off of it um, So just a little bit about me. Um, I'm not a fat guy at all um, But I used to work out a ton and so I obviously you know Christmas time rolls around you got to you gotta put on, always put on a few pounds over here, and uh, so I anyway I devised a little workout plan of doing some push-ups, some lunges, and uh, just just kind of doing some overall like just wellness and taking care of yourself. Uh, that way, that way you just feel better, you have less stress in your life, and uh, kind of is able to to take care of some of that. So he does a nice goblin barrel here. Um, still have some skellies to take care of that. I need to take care of this because I've left myself in situations before just like this where I've lost a game as time's ticking away. So I'm going to go on ahead and respond over here. Keep the pressure with the hog. He's now now put like an inferno kind of in a bad situation. Um, I would have put it a little bit over, but it was more like a panic. And I know I got him right here because he had already used his log. Just going to go on ahead and log those ways. And he's going to give me the anger face. So angry. 
Um, so yeah, anyway, I think I might actually post the, um, the little workout plan I got that you can do, um, like, you know, just right there in the desk. Like I said, if you're in the middle of a tilt and you've been sitting down for an hour long session, you know, you should get up every like hour and just kind of stretch out a little bit, at least do something. It helps to, to release some of those endorphins, um, that are, are making you mad and angry. So, you know, do maybe knocking out a few push ups. Or um, you know, just just doing a little something to get the blood flowing is actually going to uh, help you you know get off that tilt a little bit easier. So he's using a wizard here, which is absolutely crazy. Um, I was able to do some nice damage here. Still not sure what he actually has, so I'll go on ahead and put him a well played. I meant that sincerely because I was like, oh wow, um, wizard uh, wizard's going to be kind of uh, tough against my deck, but you know we just don't see too many wizards up top. Uh, in here, so I'm going to go on ahead and put my princess down because I'm not ready to put down the inferno tower yet And I'm going to go on ahead and send the goblin barrel because I need him to use his log or anything else now He has a dark prince and um, I, I'm, I'm kind of like okay Well now he's got a dark prince he's everything I have is super spongy and then he drops down elite barbarians So I'm able to get down the ice golem just in time and the princess actually does some really nice chip damage with the inferno over here And now the e-barb is going to come on ahead and start running over there and then somehow lives now He drops five elixir right there on the princess um, and I would not be you should be angry at yourself right there, man You should not have dropped five elixir to take care of a princess when you have a full health there You know you got him just wait and build up the push um, I, But after I seen his uh, his deck here, so I was trying to put the goblin barrel right here um, Since I saw that and then I accidentally click and then I'm like, oh, I'm back again And so I was actually talking to Jordan. He actually said it would be a good idea So if you guys don't like my my little workout plan, then you guys can blame Jordan. So um then I get a hit with a low battery. I don't know. It's always something uh, in some of these games. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I'm lagging. Sometimes well, the Wi-Fi just, like, goes crazy, even though I have, like, a really good uh, Wi-Fi. And now he has a wizard, a giant, and a dark prince, and <laughs> and the barbs. I mean, what, what can I do? I'm going to do the best I can and drop a skeleton army, and hopefully that wizard dies. And then I'll put down another inferno here, just trying to do everything I can. Because I know I have the game in the bag right now, but that pump is just leaving him to uh, do that. And now I don't have the the luxury of um, being able to push two lanes and, and keeping them away. So this was kind of a really dicey situation. Um, he kind of he kind of commits the cardinal rule and this, and uh, he continues to keep pushing for the three crown. Um, and I, I've said this so many times, guys, and I cannot say it enough. Oh, never mind. I'll take that back. Um, but anyway, you should you should always push for the two crowns. Never go for the three crown. I mean, it, it, that's how like sometimes you leave like that that crown damage right here is super super low. Is lower than this, but it's way easier to get to this and not attract this bad boy until you get into here. But if you're coming into here, you're attracting everything. I mean, it's just not good to to do that. So um, he then I give him a wow because he drops the barbs down, and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, wow, you haven't played this this whole game. This deck has got to be like a 5.0 deck or or whatever. I'm I'm not sure, but everything's spongy. I did not think that there was any chance. I was going to be able to win, but I needed to release break up his push so he could not get it in here. So I was trying to just do everything I can. So I put the bar, uh, the goblin barrel in the very back. So now those barbs are going to have to come in there, and I secure the W. Oh my God! I give him the wow, 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 and a good game. Uh, I did not mean to hit laugh. I I did not know that. I was like, and that's why I just put the oops on there. All right. Alright guys, so sorry to be so apologetic whenever I be in and try to explain anything. I just know you guys are going to beat me up in the comment section if I don't explain. Be like, oh, boss is BM or I don't like him anymore. I'm like, okay, I didn't mean to say that, alright. And Rebel was a friend, I was just playing, and then I'll let him know that I was just playing. I was like, hey dude, sorry. Uh, so anyway, I have not bought these yet. Um, I'm going to buy these two bad boys later this evening. Uh, we have, let's see, how many hours do we have? Alright, we had 9 hours and 7 minutes. I'll probably try to get a 12 win with it as soon as uh, possible. I do also have a magical chest. So hopefully between those two and maybe a 12 win, I think I think between all these I'm going to be able to have a level 4 executioner. So that's going to be pretty nice. Um, hopefully, yeah, it should definitely have one. Ooh, ooh. Um, so definitely going to have to, to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're looking for a deck and a new hog deck to use in this meta, the, the Goblin Barrel is kind of OP. 
If you don't have princess, um, you could use a dark goblin uh, because you know that's going to require a log. And if you don't have any of that, I don't know. Uh, that's really you nearly need something else to log. Maybe you could put some just regular goblins in there, some spear goblins in there, um, just something else that you can log. Um, and if you don't have a log, uh, well, uh, you can put a zap in, and I guess that's still going to work. And hopefully that the people that you're playing against, their stuff's not super over leveled, and that's going to help. So can't wait to get these. Uh, maybe I'll finally get that lava hound I've been waiting for for months and months and months and months and months. Um, where's my lava hound? At? I can't even find my lava hound. There you are, lava hound. Um, I have been stacking up some gold. I did go on ahead and max out my lumberjack. Uh, that was pretty cool and I was playing with him last night trying to do a loon ice golem uh, balloon deck and there was actually a guy that reached out to me he's like hey man I've been using it I was like really I was like that was just playing that last night so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm sitting here rambling on and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later bye